The ideas I express in the following pitch may already be in a game or movie, and I may just not know about it. However, if they are in a game or movie that I do know about, I simply don't feel that they live up to the potential of said ideas. More video game pitches. So, I continue to play Cana Lynch 2. I know I'm the only one, but I do love it so. And it sparked some, uh, you know, a more different idea this time. I quite like the whole heist thing with, you know, you don't know who to trust and that. I would like to see it in a, you know, ba basically, Kena Lynch 2, as it is, the multiplayer and arcade mode, focus on just the heist itself, you know, not like planning and not, you know, diversions and stuff like that. Basically, you play that, you know, you gotta get the money, you gotta kill a lot of cops, you might want to betray the others, you know, depends on, you know, the odds and all that. And at the end, you reach a getaway car, if you're lucky. And good. I would like for a game that splits up the, you know, maybe it could still have like eight players total, but it would give them different assignments and they would be, you know, at least a bunch of them would be in different places for the heist. You know how in heist movies you have like that one guy with like just had, you know, hiding behind a newspaper and he like signals the others this is when you should go in, you know, and you have the getaway car driver, you know, stuff like that. Maybe you you could have someone, like, clearing the area of, you know, if there's already police watching or something, and he would, like, go around and, I guess, silence them with, you know, well, yeah, silence weaponry, you know, stuff like that. Just think of a bunch of different assignments, and everyone has something that they're responsible for. So, someone has to get to the spot safely where they're signaling the rest of the gang to go in and do the heist. Someone has to get the getaway car there in time. And, obviously, that is not necessarily gonna go smoothly. And I think maybe sometimes at least some of the assignments should go relatively smoothly, but the game, like, randomly... I love random things in video games, because they do keep things fresh. They do ensure that no two games are too alike. You know, that's one of the really good things about the original Alien vs. Predator game, for example. The enemies can sometimes, you know, a couple of low-level enemies can morph into one high-level enemy and stuff like that. So, if... Sometimes, for example, the getaway car driver, traffic would almost be too obvious or dumb. But let's say there are a couple of cop cars around, so he has to take, you know, a longer road to get there. But the cop cars are so far away that the others won't be able to see them. So when he shows up late, if he dares show up, maybe he doesn't, maybe, you know, yeah, you know, stuff like that. When, when he does show up, if he does dare, they're going to be like, what took you so long? Why are you here so late? Are you, you know, are you actually like working against us or something? And... You know, and not necessarily only him, but, you know, there could be several different things. And I think it would be cool if they could actually, like, take him out. And there wouldn't be a penalty for them. You know, and, yeah, stuff like that. And the one who has to start the heist, signal the others to start the heist. Like, it has to actually, it, he could actually botch it. He could actually give the signal a little too early or a little too late. So he has to be sitting there watching the surroundings very closely and, you know, figuring out exactly when should they go in there. And, I don't know, I sh maybe there should still be like a countdown, you know, so that everyone can, everyone involved in the heist itself can be, you know, 
synced up. And I do think that they shouldn't be allowed to enter the heist area before he does give the signal. And again, that gives some great opportunities. Now, maybe there should be like, you know, if someone accuses one of the others, maybe there should be like, I don't know, dialogue options where they could accuse him and he has to either, you know, maybe the actual explanation is so unbelievable, you know, it's like the, my dog did eat my homework kind of thing. You know, no, really, I know it's a cliche, but it did happen. And, you know, maybe he'd be tempted to lie, and maybe they could, you know, prod and, dis you know, determine is he lying or isn't he? You know, a bunch of different, just something to keep the tension going, and where they're like, because do you really want to get in the getaway car of a getaway driver that you're not sure you can trust? What if he drives you straight to the cops? You know, sure you could kill him in, you know, when he does, but you'll still be right in front of the cops and you won't be able to get away. So, you know, just... Yeah, I, I love the game as it is, but I think, you know, other interesting things could be done. With it. I, I don't know if this game would be necessarily better. I just... I think it has potential to be as good as Kano Lynch 2 in multiplayer. And single player, too. Now, my other idea would be... I quite like the Alien and Predator creatures, you know, I, there's not a lot of the films that I care for, but I, I like both games, but I do think that they're also, I don't think that that's necessarily the most interesting thing to do with these creatures, you know, it's, it's a bit obvious to have just an all-out battle between the creatures and basically, you know, as many players as want, you know, obviously not quite as many, but yeah, it's basically a first-person shooter, you know, both games, first-person shooter, all-out war between the three, and I think it could be cool if you actually went back to, you know, when you watch the movies, especially the first of both creatures, you know, it's about how the creature is almost never seen and is, uh, you know, it sneaks and it stalks and it kills, you know, in both, yeah, both cases. So I would like a sort of Splinter Cell-ish kind of, you know, obviously not with the gadgets and stuff, well, for the Predator maybe, but yeah, I would like a game where you do have to avoid being spotted as the alien or predator. And obviously this would, you know, this could work in both single player and multiplayer. Just with, in multiplayer, there should be only one, like in Highlander. Only one predator slash alien. I don't think both. I think, again, I like it better when it's when the odds are in that kind of, you know, you have a group of humans fighting off just one alien or predator. And, you know, in multiplayer, it could be co-op when you're, where you're playing as marines trying to fight off this one. Maybe there could be some civilians that you have to protect that the alien could go for first. And there should be, like, some reason why the marines... I don't know, maybe they're forced into different rooms, you know, so that it's, yeah, so that, you know, they, obviously, if there's a lot of Marines in the same room, all carrying big weaponry, or maybe, heck, maybe limit the weaponry. Maybe say, you know what, tough luck, this is not, we are not equipped to fight, maybe they're not even Marines, maybe they're all civilians, we are not equipped to take on aliens, we did not expect this, you know, again, think of the first movie. Think of what they had to do to try to fight the alien. It was not like, okay, well, let's bring out the high-powered rifles. It was, I guess, well, we, we have something. I don't want to spoil it for people who haven't watched, but, you know, I think that could be, you know, fun and cool. And then you have, like, someone has to go on ahead with, like, a flare and see, okay, is he in here? Maybe, you know like be live bait or something and the alien player or AI I guess could also work would be like 
this is this is maybe a trap, you know. And obviously, there should be a lot of conveniently placed human-sized, what are they called, air vents, you know, like in American action movies. And yeah, or you know, when it's a predator, it should be like the woods or some somewhere open, you know, and. Yeah, obviously they should maybe have some more weapons because the alien, the, the predator is invisible and has gadgets on his side. But, you know, think about how gradually the predator in the first movie kills. You know, again, think of, like, in Alien vs. Predator, in both games, I think, there are, like, mentions of your clan's honor. How about making that an actual rule, like... The Predator player could maybe kill, like, really swiftly, several, but if he does, he will be penalized. Maybe he won't even, like, you know, yeah, maybe he won't even be allowed to play more, or maybe it just isn't possible, like, the features do not support it, or something, you know. Maybe there's, like, you know, he can only use his equipment so often, so it is impossible for the player to kill. Whatever. I just want for there to be those limitations. I I would love for a really tense kind of stealth game for multiplayer. I I don't know, maybe they exist, you know. Again, be sure to let me know, but I haven't really played any where it's, you know, even when it's games that sort of go towards that, or at least then it's only like co-op or something, but too often it's just the action, and we have enough of those, you know, we've, we've got plenty, and there are enough people making them, so it's not like we're running out. I would love to try something different with, like this. I'm not sure there's much left to say. Maybe uh, an addition could be at least for the Predator, especially if he has a nice open area, it could be like, I don't know the exact rules of pool, but I'm told that there's something like you, you know, you say, well, okay, I'm going to hit that, that particular pool ball into that particular hole. Maybe even say, like, the move. I don't know, maybe that makes more points or something, but anyway, that could be part of the Predator, you know? He would be like, okay, I'm gonna take him out, and I'm gonna do it there. You know, and yeah, it could be an increase of points or something. Yeah, heck, the, you could maybe add, like, XP to it and have him, you know, get more abilities. Maybe you could do that for the alien, too, and it would get, I don't know, better, get to move faster, you know, stuff like that. But, yeah, you know, I... I think that could be a very cool game. I'm not sure they're going to do it, because it seems like once a game series has gone towards action, it just never really goes, at least entirely, back. You know, a really sad and good example is the Commandos franchise, but yeah, I would love to see it. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.